So you guys know it's hot girl summer. And if you miss the no notion patterns, you don't want to miss the elastic only. So it's no zippers, no snaps, none of that. Okay. It's just elastic. Okay. So here's the thing. If you miss the no notion patterns, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description box below as well as on the end screen. But I'm going to say, take notes of these elastic only new look patterns. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Uh huh. I got it like that. Uh huh. Yeah, I got it like that. Uh huh. I got it like that. Baby, I'm a big deal. I got it like that. I did it again. Who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing those patterns with you that are elastic only. Now, there's a ton of new look patterns that are elastic only. So I'm gonna split it up into two parts, okay? So I'm gonna be sharing part one with you today because it's a lot, okay? So I'm only gonna be sharing 40 patterns with you today and then I'll share the other ones later on, okay? But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, child, guten tag, hello, how hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, samanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, grab the notebooks so you can go ahead and take notes. Why not? It's elastic, elastic only patterns, okay? <laughs> So in order to keep this short, sweet, give you all the deets and the news that you can use in this video, let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, so you guys know Hot Girl Summer is going on for the entire month of June. And of course, the ladies been hitting these IG streets every single day of the week, okay? But let me say that if you miss my girl Chris from I Am Craft Therapy, she posted Wednesday and she posted on Women's Veterans Day. So thank you so much, Chris, for posting. She posted, um, the pattern was New Look 6210 is what she posted. And she made the dress twice. One in a nice, gorgeous lime looking color. And the other one is orange because listen, y'all need some bright colors in y'all wardrobe for this hot girl summer, okay? And followed by that on Thursday, or I should just say yesterday, did y'all not see C from a We C style? She actually showed the pattern that I was gonna do a sew along for, and I'm glad I did not do a sew along for it because I didn't wanna steal any sunshine from my girl C. So We C style, Candace from We C style, she did new look 6781. She'll post it on her channel sometime okay but you can see it on instagram okay she did a whole reel letting y'all know that take off those sneakers okay take off those pajamas because it's hot girl summer for these new look patterns all right so if you miss it i'll put the link in the description box below so you can see both of the ladies chris and c go over to their instagram handles which is in the description box below so you're able to see it now before i even get started don't forget my girl Shamir is up next. She'll be coming through tomorrow. So yeah, wouldn't want to mess what Shamir is showing you guys for the hot girl summer for new look pattern. That's Saturday. That's tomorrow, Saturday, June the 15th. So stay tuned for that. And I will tell you who's coming up in my next video. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, let me tell you what I have on today is actually a new look pattern. That's, that's exactly why I wore it. It's new look 6707. I actually have a complete sew along on the channel for this top. I did, um, I think it was last year, maybe the year before. I don't remember the exact time frame I did this, but I like it. And <clears throat> You could jazz up these new look patterns. I'm just saying. But let's go ahead and get into the first pattern. So the first pattern is new look 6108. So this is a just for knit pattern. And this is elastic only, okay? So the skirt, now listen, you guys know, like when I did the 24 T style patterns, we talked about skirts and it seemed as if I was saying like all the skirts are trash. I'm Like I said, I'm not saying that, but Use your own judgment if you have some hips, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. 
but I'm gonna say the first pattern is 6108. Let's move over to the second pattern or the next pattern is 6109. And for 6109, what you have here on 6109 is a two-piece set. So for this two-piece set, you have a tunic and a pair of pants. I actually like this pattern. I have it in my stash. Now, all these patterns I have in my stash. I shared with you guys how I used to store my patterns and how I store it. Now, I'll do an updated video because I know a few of you commented and said what I show, how to store, how I store my patterns uh, PDF like I showed before but also how do I know which ones I want to buy and which ones I already bought that's a good one so I'll share that with you guys in like a quick video coming up on the channel pretty soon all right the um but 6109 the pants are elasticated so if you're a beginner or an intermediate beginner you can definitely pull this pattern out and sew it up all right Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 6119. So for this pattern, I actually, I think I actually cut the pattern out um, before and I don't know what I did. I don't, I know I did not sew this pattern. I believe I cut it, I cut it out and I don't know what I did with it. I know for sure that I no longer have the fabric that I cut out, I can tell you that, but I know I did not sew this pattern up, okay? But it's a dress, and I actually like this dress. I like the fact that you have a tie around the neck. I mean, this would be great for a vacation ready wardrobe, okay? But once again, it's 6119. Moving over to the next pattern is 6122, and this is a dress. Now, this dress comes in many different variations for this pattern. Um, you could pretty much mix and match. So you can mix the top with, mix any of the tops with the skirt and get you a good look. Now, it's elastic only, okay? So this pattern is elastic only, so you can make several versions of this dress. Get into that pattern, it's 6122. Moving over to the next pattern, which is 6263. And for this pattern, I actually sewed this pattern up when it first came out. I didn't like this one. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. And it could be because I sewed this pattern up. So the pattern came out in like 2014. I think I sewed the pattern up in 2015. Now, remind you, by that time I was sewing for five years, but I think I took a hiatus from sewing for like, a year and that's during the time where I just found out I was pregnant with my no I just had my son in um, 2015 so with that so I found out in 2014 of course had him in 2015 so I think when I sewed the dress I didn't like it because it did not fit and it did not fit probably because I just found out I was pregnant duh <laughs> right um, but once again it's 62 63 the only thing you need for this pattern is elastic all right so let's go ahead and for this one you could put ties at the back as well to alleviate the button that goes in the back all right so let's go ahead and move over to the next one so the next pattern is 6267 which is a top now one thing i want to mention is all the patterns that i'm going to show you either deals with elastic only seam binding or bias tape those are the things that's going to be featured in this video. I forgot to mention that at the very beginning, but 6267 is just a basic top with some elastic. Um, there's elastic at the sleeves, um, so make sure you have enough elastic for that. I think this is a cute pattern, great for beginners for sure. Um, and that's what this video is pretty much focusing on, those easy to sew beginner patterns as well. Once again, it's 6267. So the next pattern is 6271, which is a pair of pants. And I know someone just made these pants. I wanna say it's Martika because Martika's been sewing up these 99 cent patterns for sure. When they were on sale at Hobby Lobby, she was sharing the ones that she was pulling out. And I can see why. Like, I think this pattern is probably no more than four that four pattern pieces that will be your front, your back, your pockets, and some elastic casing, okay? That's it, in and out the door, four hours or less. I promise you it's four hours or less, okay? Even the slow sewists, 
can pretty much get this done in four hours or less, okay? But this is elastic only, it's just elastic in the waist, all right? Moving over to the next pattern, which is 6280. So for 6280, it is a knit dress. Now y'all know that your girl is not a fan of knits. I sew knits here and there, uh, not very often. Why? Because it's just too freaking hot in Florida, in my opinion, to wear knit. I am a straight up woven girl, okay? Like for those in a much colder climate, you guys could sew the knits, you guys could have those knits, but I am a girl who loves a woven, okay? I'm team woven. If you team woven over here, thumbs up, double thumbs up. If you are team knit, go ahead and throw me some yarn, all right? <laughs> All right, all right, back to what I was saying, but once again, it's 6280. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6281. So 6281 is a nice dress. Now this one says that some elastic, where in the heck is this elastic going? Because I think all you need for this one is binding. Um, some binding that's gonna go probably around the neck edge or so. Um, but this one is not elastic. It's probably gonna be some seam binding that you need. All right, but once again, it's 6281. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6282. So for 6282, it is a nice, gorgeous dress. You're going to need elastic in the waist area. You're probably gonna need some single fold bias tape in order to do the, um, neckline and the armholes as well. One thing that I would say is if you're a girl like me who loves her sleeves, you can definitely hack this pattern, okay? And add you some sleeves. So if you missed my video where I took a sleeveless pattern, like new look 6781, I threw some sleeves on it, okay? And a cuff and made it do what it do. You can do the same thing too, all right? But this is 60, 282. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6283. So for 6283, it's pretty much like a tunic, but for me, it reminds me of a kimono. And I'm just wondering if you can use this pattern for the Simplicity Challenge that's going on this month. Start at June 3rd and will end June 28th. It's hashtag Captain, so Captain, I think is what it is. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you're able to see that it's going on right now. So the thing about it, and I'm just gonna say, go to Simplicity and see the official rules or whatnot of the Captain Challenge. I'm thinking of possibly participating. I gotta figure out what fabric from my stash I can use. I would just participate for fun. <laughs> That's it <laughs> to do. Not like I don't already have a challenge going on this month, but. We'll see if I can squeeze that in, all right? But once again, it's 6283. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6284. So for 6284, this is just like your regular square neck top, okay? And for this one, I would say you're probably going to need some bias tape, probably at the neck edge. Um, I don't see any elastic anywhere. So if you're, and you're probably gonna need some single full bias tape, for the armhole area too, for the portions that doesn't have a sleeve on it, all right? But outside of that, this is 6284. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6286. So for 6286, y'all, I have literally, I bought this pattern so many times, but it never comes out the drawer. Don't ask me why. But I like this top. The model is looking really nice on this pattern. They styled her very, very well. Um, with this one, I, I know me, I would definitely add some sleeves, okay? And I think this pattern would be so good as a slit sleeve or a short sleeve or a puff sleeve in my opinion, okay? Um, but yeah, or maybe a cold sleeve, cold shoulder sleeve. But tell me what you think. But once again, this pattern is 6286. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 6287, elastic only for the skirt. All right, but this is an easy to sew skirt. It's just basically a A-line skirt, add some elastic in and out the door four hours or less and you're good to go. Probably two hours or less to be honest with you. But who's counting, all right? But once again, it's 6287. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6288. So 6288 is a knit skirt and 
of course, you're gonna need some knit elastic for the waistband to keep your skirt up, okay? But nothing more to this pattern, probably three or four pattern pieces, front, back, band, done. Um, for a knit skirt, kind of like this, which is like a pencil scout, I wouldn't say add pockets. I mean, like it would look a little different and a little weird if you add pockets to a knit skirt. That's not flared, you know what I'm saying? So I would 86 the pocket, make it fitted, pencil skirt, all the way down to the floor, maxi style, and you're good to go. But once again, it's 62.88. Let's move over to the next pattern which is 62.91. So for 62.91, this pattern is a jumpsuit. And I know this pattern was very popular when it first came out back in 2014, okay? <laughs> and even though I'm not a girl who loves jumpsuits, um, you only need elastic in that waist. And one thing that I can say is that you can definitely make it a two piece instead of a one piece where you add elastic to the bottom of the waist for the top and then add elastic to the waist for the pants. Okay. And have you a two piece instead of a whole jumpsuit. I'm just saying you can hack these patterns. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's move over to the next pattern, which is 6292. So for 6292, it is a top and a pair of pants. So I think they're wanting you to use elastic for the pants but it's an easy to sew pattern for sure and I mean it's like a straight leg pants you can't go wrong with a straight leg pants but I don't I mean I like straight leg pants but I do like them to flare just a tad bit all right so with this pattern easy easy if you don't have this pattern I'm pretty sure you probably won't be able to get it at Joann's because it's much older, like 2014 um, old. So that's a whole decade. And with that being said, any, I'm just going to say, I think Joann stops doing patterns for new look in like 2019. So if the pattern is not like 2019 to recent to present, it's probably hard for you to find. All right. And I do apologize about that, but is 6292. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 6301. This is a dress. And for this dress, I know Mimi G sewed this dress up a while ago. When it came out, of course, like 2015, I, I want to say Mimi G. Mimi G was sewing up a lot of new look patterns back then. And then I don't know what happened to new look patterns. Like, I don't know. But I'm trying to change that because new look was a hot thing back in the days. Now they're repeating like Vogue patterns and stuff like that. Okay. But anyway, we're, we're, we're not talking about that. Okay. We're going to get back to task at hand. 6301, which is a beautiful wrap dress. Um, it is a knit pattern, which is probably why I have it in my stash. But like I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of knit, but I will sew no knit when I need to. And I might pull this pattern out because I need something quick and easy in a knit for an event. All right. But let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 6327. So for 6327, it's an easy to sew skirt. And yeah. All right. So this one, you only need elastic at the waist because it's just a simple skirt. Easy to sew if you're a beginner, definitely look for this pattern if it suits your comfort and your likability, all right? But let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 6340. So for 6340, you're going to need, you're gonna have to put some buttons on the back, but you could definitely use ties. I have showed you how to make ties for any of the uh, dresses or anything or tops that you have where you're gonna need to add buttons to the back as a button closure. You can always 86 that and make some ties, okay? But this is an easy to sew dress. I wanna say like this pattern is probably four pattern pieces, give or take, okay? Depending on if you're adding sleeves or not. Of course, you know, your girl's gonna add some sleeves. I'm not a fan of sleeveless. I'm not gonna lie. I am not a huge fan of sleeveless because that means you have to put bias tape and y'all know that your girl is not a bias tape lover. I will draft a face in real quick, okay? So it's just best for me to just add sleeves. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with my arms. My arms are fabulous, but I'm just saying, I'm. I'm not a sleeveless girl like that, unless it's a tank 
top, okay? Get into a tank top, okay? All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. It's 6344. All right, so the next pattern, 6344, is a tunic or top. And I like this one. It has a little lace that the, the model's wearing a little lace at the shoulders and everything. I like this one. Um, so this one is not an elastic pattern. It is a seam binding pattern. And you're gonna need some seam binding um, or bias tape, whatever, um, at the armhole. So just make sure either add sleeves or have that seam binding. Once again, it's 6344. Let's move over to the next one, which is 63.48. And for 63.48, it is a skirt. I actually like this skirt. It is a knit skirt. I like the fact that it has ties in the front. For those of you whose moms that, you know, mom, recently moms, I should say, or someone who's just been carrying weight around their tummy area, you could kind of camouflage that by having those ties, okay? But that's why I like this pattern. But it, once again, it's 6348. Let's move over to the next pattern. Next pattern is 6373, which is a jumpsuit and a dress, okay? Um, I like the fact that it has the cami at the top and then ruffle at the bottom for the dress. And then for the jumpsuit, you have the cami, the pants, and then have it like a little flounce at the um, area where you have the cam the camisole, camisole, tank, whatever you wanna call it, right? So I actually like this pattern. I have fabric for this pattern. I just haven't sewn it up yet. But once again, it's 6373 and this one is a bias tape uh, pattern, all right? But let's go ahead and move over to the next one. Oh, and one thing about this pattern, you're gonna need buttons in the back, but 86 those and make you some ties. You will look Fabulous. All right, moving over to the next pattern, which is 6379. And for 6379, it is a skirt and a pair of pants. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I do not like this pattern. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't like the way that it looks. But anyway, um, this one is an easy to sew pattern for sure. But once again, it's 6379. Moving over to the next pattern, which is 6380. And for 6380, it is a knit style pants or skirt. For me, I like the skirt and the pants. So when I picked it up, I was more feeling the skirt, but now being that it's been 10 years since the pattern came out, the pattern came out in spring 2015. And being that it's 10 years, of course, style have changed since then. So this may go up on my to buy list when I do my pattern sell. Like I mentioned, I will be doing that. Give me some time to pull all the patterns out, but I will be doing that pretty soon. All right. But once again, it's 6380. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 6381, which is a pair of shorts, pants, or skirt. Now this one for my new beginners, I should say not like, my new sewers, but my beginner sewers, I should say. This pattern is for you to learn construction. What I mean by that is get rid of all the background noise of trying to sew buttons and zippers and snaps and all of that stuff. Get you some elastic. You can sew all four items on this pattern, okay? And then just learn the process of pants. And then because it is a knit fitting pants and because it's flared, it just needs to fit in the boutte and the waist. That's it, okay? But once again, it's 6381. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 6402. So for 6402, this is a great business style wardrobe, or if you work in corporate America and you have to wear some type of business attire, um, this pattern is for you, boo-boo, because you have a top, you have a long sleeve, you can make a short sleeve, you can make a sleeveless on the top, and then you have the pants that you can do more than once and create you a nice five piece or more just from one pattern, okay? So take advantage of those wardrobe style patterns. But once again, it's 6402 and it's an elastic only pattern. Moving over to the next pattern, which is 6414. Now I had like three of these patterns and I actually had to take two back to Joanne's. I don't know why I ended up with three in my pattern drawer, but I took two back. And for this one, you're gonna need seam binding. Um, I like the fact 
of this one being like long sleeves, nice tunic. I love it. And I also like the view that have the bishop sleeves um, or flared sleeves, not bishop sleeves, but flared sleeves. So I do like that jazziness going on at the sleeve for this one as well. Just don't forget in the back, it has buttons so you can use ties for that. But once again, it's 6414. Moving over to the next one, which is 6419, which is a pair of pants. And for, and a skirt, but I'm here for the pants. But for this one, you'll be surprised because this one, you would think it's elastic only, but wouldn't there be a zipper for pants on the side or something? I'm gonna check this one out and I'll correct it up on the screen if I'm in incorrect. But on the back of the pattern cover, when I was looking at it, it said that it needed elastic, but is it flat front elastic back? Hmm. I'm gonna check that out and I'll let you guys know. All right. But moving over to the next pattern is 62, I'm sorry, 6420. And for this one is elasticated pants and then you have a top. So this would be a good two piece set. Use a knit, of course, you're gonna need some seam binding as well as elastic for this pattern. I actually like this pattern. And would I sew this pattern? Possibly for the top, okay? If I was thinking of sewing this pattern because I have to be more casual and whatever at work, then I would think about sewing this pattern, but everything I wear to work is fabulous, okay? <laughs> But once again, it's 6420. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 6435. And this one is a top and some leggings. So it has this high low effect or whatever for this pattern, which is what I like. But I really like, I'm, I'm on the fence with what the model is wearing. But I mean, I feel like some of them are cute, not all of them, but you know, you gotta go for what you like for sure. But once again, it's 63, I'm sorry, 6435. Moving over to the next pattern is 6436. And for 6436, this pattern is a skirt and a pair of pants. Elastic only, baby. Listen, when I say get into these easy patterns for hashtag hot girl summer sews and hot girl sewing challenge, get you an easy pattern to sew up for this hot girl summer going on all month, okay? And the ladies been killing it, okay? But once again, this pattern is 6436. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern was put on my 24 T style pattern as totally trash pattern. And this pattern is 6437. So I know you like Rochelle, how you gonna put a, a totally trash pattern as a pattern to look at? Well, I didn't say that it could be totally trash for you. You may actually think that this is a really good pattern. It's just my opinion of this pattern being totally trash. But one thing I will mention is this pattern right here, you need some binding, okay? But once again, also part of my eight totally trash patterns, it's 6437. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. Next pattern is 6439. And this pattern is a top and some leggings. So for this pattern, it is a knit pattern. Y'all know how I feel about knit, but I like the fact that it is a two piece. So if you're looking for a two piece, something quick and easy, only elastic, you can definitely score you this pattern. It's 6439. Let's move over to the next pattern. Next pattern, I talked about this one in the 24 T style patterns that I want to sew. No, actually I sewed this pattern. It's 6458, Miss Anita from Anita by Design did a complete sew along for all the views on this pattern. But once again, it's 6458. Let's move over to the next pattern. Next pattern is 6461. And if you miss my girl, Julie from the Created Curvy, I'll put her link in the description box below, but she sewed this pattern up for hashtag hot girl summer sewing challenge, okay? And if you missed it, go back to my video, okay? Go back to my video when I, when I shared with you guys what she made. That video was the No Notion Patterns, which I'll put up right here, but also link to it in the description box below, as well as on the end screen. But this pattern is just basically, I would say it's a No Notion, but you need elastic for the pants, okay? 
but once again at 62 61. let's move over to the next pattern so the next pattern my girl chris from unsocial sewed this pattern up it is 6507 which is a top or a dress, okay? And you can hear everything that my girl Chris from Unsocial said on her channel. I'm gonna link it in the description box below so you are able to see her entire review of the pattern. Now, here's the funny thing about it. So you guys know, like for the new look patterns, I wanted to challenge everyone, okay? I didn't wanna pick something super easy. Like everyone loves simplicity and macaws. We know that, right? So it was just, I just knew my girls was not getting ready to do no <laughs> buttering patterns. Absolutely. Because the minute that you say butter, they be like, hmm, butter it. I don't know if I would have got the participation, I should say, if I would have done butter it. But I figured because we, a lot of us, I'm not going to say all of us, a lot of us went out and got new look patterns when Hobby Lobby had them on sale for 99 cents. The first thing was like, you guys. We should capitalize on this and do new look patterns for Hot Girl Summer. The amount of ladies that was like, yes, let's do it, was just so amazing. And I do appreciate each and every one of them that have already went, as well as the ones that are coming up. You wouldn't want to miss it because got some good stuff coming up for y'all, all right? I don't want to tell you guys who's coming up next. <laughs> I'm saying after, you know, Saturday because you got to stay tuned. You got to stay locked to IG. Who's posting will always be shared in my story. And I will do a recap at the end of the month. Okay. But once again, it's 6507. Don't forget to hit up Chris from Unsocial so you can see what she made with this pattern. All right. Let's move over to the next one, which is 6511. Now, I made this pattern for the... Um, Stone Magazine, it was the red issue that I was in in December. Okay, so I shared the pictures, but I'll put one or two up on the screen so you're able to see that. Also, my girl C from We See Style, she did a reel on her channel about this one. She hasn't showed it in photos yet, but she did this one in a satin and a pink, and oh, it is so sweet, all right? So it's nice, just wait for her to post it on her channel, but you could definitely see her short of it, all right? But once again, it's new look 6511. Let's move over to the next pattern. Oh, one thing with 6511, Mimi G has kind of like a hack on her channel to extend it, make an address and all that good stuff. So go over to Mimi's channel, type in new look 6511 and you're able to see that as well. You're welcome. All right, so next pattern is 6513. So for this pattern, it is a dress and a top you're gonna need some seam binding. Like, it's evident, right? Um, this pattern is okay. So, I don't know if I purchased this pattern based off of impulse, but it may be one of the patterns that may end up leaving me <laughs> by fall, all right? But once again, it's 6513. Let's move over to the next pattern. Next pattern was put in my totally trash pattern. I tried this pattern, we talked about it. It's 6515, and I know you like Rochelle. Why would I pick up this trash pattern? Um, because it's elastic only. And if you need an elastic only pattern, I'm gonna give it to you whether it's my TNT pattern or not, right? Or my totally trash pattern. All right. <laughs> all right, so listen, this pattern, I think it was just the sizing was off. Like, to be honest, I wouldn't sell this pattern again. That's why I put it in the totally trash. But you may like this pattern and I'm encouraging you just because I say it's totally trash. I want you guys to actually look at the pattern, see if it's something that you would like to sew. I know you're like Rochelle. I trust your judgment simply because you have sewn so many patterns, this, that, and the third. And I love how you give your honest opinion. That is true. However, I tell you my honest opinion for these patterns, but don't stop what you want to sew because I'm telling you, for me, it was totally trash, okay? Definitely, if you have this pattern and you wanna sew it, definitely give it a try and then have your own opinion about the pattern, all right? So once again, it's 6515. Now, now those are all 40 patterns that I'm gonna give you today in this little sit down video. I hope you enjoyed this video of the 
40 patterns that are either elastic only, bias tape, or seam binding, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. My hair stay late and you know I get paid Hundred dollar bills, I got racks on the way I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet Five foot six, but I feel like a giant I got the sauce